Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, let us begin. So before we jump into the script, uh, you need to make sure you install the Visual Studio 2015 and OpenCV. All right. So um, if you haven't, please check the uh, check my previous video. So let's create the project. So choose the console application i'm gonna name this how to read and write the solution name will be the same click uh, press ok and click next and choose the empty project and click finish it'll take some time and here before we jump into the programming uh, which actually we need to set up a few things i'm gonna change solution platform to 64 bits and let's set new item here which is C plus plus file I'm gonna name this one the same as uh, project name and right all right there we go and also we need to add the dependencies and uh, I mean uh, OpenCV dependencies and libraries uh, to do so we can go to the C++ and click edit and go to the OpenCV build click include and copy and paste this directory and go to the linker and go to general look for additional library dependencies here and similarly Go to OpenCV, build 64 bit, and go to the library and copy in these directories. And for, go to the input and look for additional dependencies and copy and paste this name of the file. And add the LIB, LIB uh, which means library. So apply, okay. Now we are ready to code up for a program to read our MV file. So actually we need to include a few standard library and libraries from OpenCV. <clears throat> First one is IO string and second one is string. It will be useful whenever we are trying to print out something. And for the OpenCV library, we are going to use OpenCV and core CPP. And we need some user interface, right? which HiGui, HiGui, HPP. And also for the, we are going to do a little bit of image processing. So for that one, or we're going to have image process and image process dot hpp all right also we are going to use the namespace so that we don't have to uh, type std or cv every time we are using function classes data type from the libraries all right let's work on main function so it has two kind of default terms. i'm gonna utilize these later um, all right to read the image we need a path one for The robot image, I'm gonna call it robot path and I'm gonna utilize the parameters, one of the parameters from the main function and create path. All right, so to use this one, we need to go to project and property 
and look for debugging and you will see the command argument and use the double quotation mark and this is where I save my image and additionally you need to put the name of the file don't forget the name of the extension and again I'm going to save uh, here I'm going to call local gray scale no actually local gray jpg all right we set up the all the path that we need and let's read the image so to do that we need a met type uh, variable I'm going to call it robot this is from the CV, that's why I write down the CV. But since we are using the namespace CV, we don't actually need type this part, but I just want to show how it normally actually looks like. And to do that, we can use the inread function. It will take the one parameter. And we are going... And the parameter is the path itself. So, as we declare earlier, local path is here, so we will get the robot image. So, it, it also, it is always good to check if we successfully open the uh, image file. To do that, we can use the if statement, and so robot data, if robot data is not there, and we will print out the error message no image for instance and end this main function by returning minus one and from here let's check the actual image. To do that, we can use the show function. It takes uh, two parameters. One of the uh, one of parameters is name of the window. So I'm gonna name the window robot image color and it takes a uh, meta type variable which is robot that contains uh, information of the image and Whenever you are using white, I mean, IMSHA function, you need white key function so that uh, the window will not disappear so quickly. All right, so let's see if this short code is working properly. Click the debugger, click S. All right. Now you can see we have a, a robot image. You can press any button to end this program. Now let's see how to um, save the image. I don't want to save the same image. I want to do a little bit of the image processing and then save the resulting image. Uh, for the process image processing, we are going to convert the color image to grayscale image. To do that, we need a new mat type variable. I'm gonna call it robot gray, and you don't have to initialize. And to convert the color image to grayscale image, you can use convert color function. It needs um, <clears throat> excuse me, three variable, sorry, uh, three parameters. So first one is input image, which is robot in our case, and second parameter is the space for the output, and we are going to use robot gray, and type of the conversion, which is RGB to gray actually see here. Alright, so after this 
uh, line, we will get the, the resulting image. And now we need to save the image. To do that, we, are, we can utilize the inwrite function. It takes two parameters. First one, first one is the path. We set up the path earlier, which is a robot gray path. And second one is the matrix that contains uh, information of the image. So in our case, it's going to be robot gray. All right. So actually, before we save the uh, never mind. We are going to save this image by clicking local window debugger. And if you press enter, then the program will end. Let's see if we save the image correctly. And this was the uh, location I saved my image. So as you can see, we obtain a grayscale image. But let's see for the programming part. And now I wanna uh, take a look at the exercise I'm going to uh, give you guys as a kind of you know assignment to practice. So there's a one simple exercise. So basically you need to write up code to read the uh, color image. Let's call that image robot2jpg from your desk and obtain and save the grayscale image into your disk. Uh, the useful functions are imshow, convert color, and imwrite as we discussed earlier and the uh, file, file that will be provided is robot2.jpg Alright, that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something from it and see you in the next video. Bye!